This is a LexisNexis video tutorial using the index. On the Advanced Options section of LexisNexis Academic, you will notice a link that says Look up index terms. Adding index terms to a search is useful because these terms provide a controlled vocabulary to help you narrow your search. While this is great for all concepts, it's especially helpful while searching for terms with multiple meanings or various names. This often happens with people, companies, and geographic locations. When you click the link, the index tool will open in a new window. This tool will help you find index terms to add to your search. Simply type a topic in the search box, click find, and you'll be able to see a list of index terms. To show you the power of the index, I'm going to first type in the name of a geographic location. For example, let's type in the name of a country and city previously known by different names. First, the USSR. The Russian Federation is no longer called the USSR, and the term USSR is antiquated. However, our index recognizes that these two things are the same geographic location and will normalize the two in the results. I can simply click Russian Federation and then click OK to add it to my search. The same thing will happen with the city of Bombay. Bombay is known today as Mumbai. When you type in Bombay, the index recognizes the two locations as the same because LexisNexis indexes a concept, not a specific word. So selecting this Mumbai term will also work when you're searching for documents before the name change in 1995. Now let's talk about using the index for a people search. Using an index term is very useful for finding proper names because using an index term will help you to distinguish multiple people with the same name or more importantly variations of a proper name. You don't want to miss out on a great document because you search for Al Gore and not Albert Gore. Using an index term will catch all variations of this name. Also, there are common famous names, like Michael Jackson. There are at least three famous Michael Jacksons I can think of. There's a musician, a former football player, and also the CEO of a major corporation. So I will search Michael Jackson. And you see in people results, I get two people. So I can just click on the eye icon for more information. In this case, Mike Jackson targets the chairman and CEO of AutoNation. Since this is the particular one I want, I will select it. And at that point, I can click OK Add to Search. The last example I'll show you is for companies. Many companies have names that can signify something other than the corporation. For example, the Gap, Apple, or Target. If you simply type Target into a search box in any database, you'll get a mix of articles referencing the company, but also articles referencing other things like target demographics, target revenue, or hitting a target. In other words, there are a lot of excess articles that you'll need to sort through. Instead, we can simply type Target into the search box, and you'll see right here Target Corporation, and we can select it from the index. Of course, the index works for industries and subjects as well. It might even help you find concepts that you weren't considering. I will click OK Add to Search, and you can see that all of the index terms that we added are right here. Once you click apply, they'll be automatically added to your search. 
hover over the selection tray to see all of the index terms that you're currently searching against. So use the index next time you're doing research. It's amazing how much these terms will narrow your search and return the best results. Thanks for using LexisNexis Academic.